Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're joined by Hire of Playing with Power and Josh from Mind Muscle Magic. I'm Josh. Hire. As we continue our quest to figure out which background pairing is best in CEDH. So we have Hire on Gail Hallister, one card win cons dot deck. Cameron's on Abdel Adrian, Agent of the Iron Throne, Agent Raz Abdel Cat. I'm playing Wilson Candlekeep Sage. Wilson! A Tom Hanks reference. Is that how he says it? I guess. And Josh is playing Borokos Fo. Kiro background check Orzov stacks edition. Begin. This is the worst four out of all of the hands that I've seen. <laughs> you try shuffling better? Go to three. Higher on five. On five. All right, I have a three card hands. It, it has three cards in it. Excellent. I have a pregame effect. Of course you do. Gemstone Caverns, pitch breeding pool. Let's draw a card for turn. I'm going to play this Jetaxian probe going to 38, targeting Josh. You can feel free to show the class. We can all be in fear. Oh, we are, we are going to show the class. I already don't like this game. Lands, Muta Vault, Strip Mine. God. Tree Ball, Disciple of the Vault, and Oppression. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yes, excellent. Very good. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play Bloodstained Mire. I'm going to crack it. I'm going to play an Underground Sea. I'm going to cast a Mana Vault and then pass the turn. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna play a command tower and cast the blood pet. I'll pass. <clears throat> draw card. I have waterlogged grove, cast the soul ring. I'm gonna lose a life, float one, and cast ledger shredder. And then that's it. I pass my turn. Draw card. Jewel blows. Fetid heath. Rotocos party leader. Ledger shredder. Draw card. Discard this island and no counter. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Play a Misty Rainforest. And let's crack it. Watery Grave. Colorless Floating. I'm going to cast a Windfall. But my turn is fear. Yeah, this is... I have two cards in hand. This is super cool by me. Three for me. I'm much sad about this. All that shit's got to go. All of Yeah, it. shut <laughs> up. Six. I drew a Vampiric Tutor for turn, by the way. I had a Godless Shrine and Archivist of Agma. My three-card hand were these two lands and the Archivist. Six cards. Use the Colorless... Cast a phantasmal image. Ledger Shredder trigger. Draw a card. Discarding Mox Diamond. Get a counter. I am also going to have a Ledger Shredder. I will Great. pass the turn. Get a draw. We'll play and crack a Marsh Flats going down to 39. Scrub land. We'll cast a Felwar Stone and then pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, and draw a card. Cast a Jewel Lotus. Crack Jewel Lotus for blue. Cast Candle Keep Sage. Ledger Shredder trigger. Ledger Shredder trigger. Yeah, I think yours happens first. Yeah. Go ahead and put this to spell. Get a counter. Discarding, I guess, Flintorn Elves. Get a counter. I'll lose a life again off of the Waterlogged Grove and cast Utopia's. Oh, no, that's not good. No, it's not. That's... Don't do it. I didn't finish my sentence. Utopia's Pearl has to go in a forest. I don't have a forest. Whoops. Instead, let's cast a Chromox. Chromox is going to pitch Utopia Sprawl. <laughs> there we go. Utopia Sprawl is going to be useful one way or the other. <laughs> cast Mana Crypt. Oh my god. Uh, got a lot of mana. Floating one and cast Wilson. Wilson trigger off Candle Keep Sage, draw a card. Use that one to crack the Waterlog Grove and draw a card. Prismatic Vista. Crack Prismatic Vista. Get a Snow Covered Forest. Cast Allosaurus Shepherd. Cast Birds of Paradise. Game actions, game actions. And then that's it. Pass turn. Untap. Draw a card. Polluted Delta. Mox Den. Discarding. Snow Covered Island. Swamp, rather. I don't have any islands, I swear. Although I will activate this Polluted Delta and search for, I mean, maybe an island. I'll get a scrub land. Cast my second spell for the turn. I'll put a Tim of the Weaver on the stack. Trigger, trigger. Draw a card. Discard Elvish Mystic. Get a counter. Draw a discard. Unsub. Oh, yeah. Tim on the stack. Combat. Lure Coast Party Leader. Cameron. Trigger. I would like to make Cameron lose two, and I would like to make two treasure. That's fine. I'll go down to 37 from that trigger. And then combat damage, looking at 2 4. I'll take it. Going down to 30. Five. Second main phase, trigger Timna. I'll go to 38, draw a card, pass the turn. Trigger Mana Vault, draw step, lose life, land. I'll tap three and cast scale. I will pass the turn. Go to mine, get a draw, play a Mana Confluence. We're going to start off losing a life going down to 34. We're going to cast a Praetor's Grasp, targeting Dylan. I'm going to cast Misdirection, pitching Brainstorm. It could have been worse. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to send you a Josh instead. <laughs> Josh, Josh, do you have a Praetor's Grasp? 
I do not have Praetor's Dress. <laughs> Were you looking for a Thassa's Oracle? Uh, yeah, totally. This is absolutely horrendous for me. I have one of the other combo pieces for Thoracle in my hand, and this was the only way that I foresaw me getting in a win for this game. I was suspecting that Cameron was looking for Thassa's Oracle, so I know the misdirection seems a little bit harsh, but I felt like it was necessary to throw him at a non-blue player in case that was correct. I just wish that Josh played a Praetor's Grasp. I could have tried again. What if it was your Meat Hook Massacre? You got a boss. That is a combo piece that I'll be able to use. I now have a Meat Hook Massacre. I'm also going to tap Bower Stone. I'm actually going to use his Blood Pet now, and I'm going to run out a Dark Confidant. Ledger Shredder Trigger. Go for it. Lots of them. I will discard Quicken. Ooh, Quicken, that's hot. I'm going to discard a Collector Oof. Get a counter. And pass. Doesn't seem like this is the best Collector Oof game for me to be having in casting. That's a funny sentence. For me to be having in casting. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, mana crypt. Lose, lose three life, draw card. Cast Gilded Drake. I'm gonna try to take Timna. Of course you're gonna take Timna, of course. I, you, I love Timna. You, you're not playing a Timna deck, gotta steal the Timna. <laughs> Combat, I'm gonna send the Ledger Shredder at Cameron and I'm gonna send my Wilson at Josh. I'll take the five. I will take the two. 29. Second main phase, I will lose two life and draw two cards off of Timna. Higher, how many cards do you have in your hand? Five cards. I'm going to attack Team probe you. Ledger Shredder Trigger. Me too. Discard a Necropotence. I'm going to discard this land so not get a counter. Okay, got it. Draw a card. That'll be it. I will pass turn. Untap. Draw a card. Combat. I'll do Burkos at Cameron and a 3-3 three, three Drake at still. Cam, you have minus one from an attack trigger and I make one treasure. I'll take three. And second to make phase. Let's overload a dam. I'll float a blue and then, yeah, I have no response. Your Timna is in your graveyard. My Gilded Drake is in mine. And when my Wilson dies, I'll draw a card. We'll do you Saga as land for turn and I'll pass. Draw. Land for turn. Dark Ritual. I will use these two and cast a Gale. <laughs> oh, okay. <Lol. laughs> less, less scared, less scared. I do pass. Damn! That sucks that Hire had to use that two for one for his commander. The draw, play a high market. And for a life going down to 25, we're gonna run out our commander, Abdel. A flash and a hush ring Great, okay. That's fine, because I didn't want to exile anything anyway. So we'll pass. Untap, upkeep, mana crypt sugar. Win, no damage. And that was a clean flip. Draw card. Sir. Thanks. Flooded strands, destiny spinner, floating one. You spin me right round, baby. I think I have to keep the Oshbringer around. Okay, that's it. Pass turn. Uh, untap, draw card, trigger. Cabal pit as land for turn. Taking one, going to 35, and I will put a grim hireling on the stack. Combat, hire for two. I'm gonna exile this delay cast a snapback targeting the uh the, the thing trigger uh trigger gale targeting <laughs> trigger, yeah i'm gonna target good taxing probe dylan nice. targeting you bud these three cards <sighs> all right yeah we're good this is exiled i'm gonna draw a card it's in hand grim harley will not trigger second main phase i will tap this scrub land and cast this death and silence pass draw play a land because Gale is useless under Deafening Silence, and I don't foresee Deafening Silence going away, I'm gonna tap here. I'm gonna cast Diabolic Intent, sacrificing Gale. You can go to the graveyard. This card, cast a Laboratory Maniac. Faster. Damn, that was a seven mana Diabolic Intent. That was a three for one. Ah, uh, yes, the three drop two two blocker. Draw. In that case, we'll go Flooded Strand, going down to 24, and we'll cast that Meat Hook Massacre. X equals three. One from each, so that means I'll go back up to 27. Higher, I'm gonna punch you for four here. Isn't it one? Doesn't it have minus one? Oh, uh, yep, X. right. Should've done that first. I will pass the turn then. I'm gonna cry Flooded Strand in your end step. Find Tropical Island. Untap, upkeep, mana crypt trigger. Tails, lose three. Go to 24, draw a card. Cast Wilson, floating a colorless mana. Candle, keep sage trigger, draw a card. I'm gonna pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw, trigger saga, goes to tree. I'll float one. Search, soul guide lantern. ETB, exile target card in a graveyard. I think it's the laboratory maniac. Multi-class Baldric. I will pass the turn. Uh, I'll cast a wish claw talisman. I'll lose one to a mana vault, sorry. After that, I will pass the turn. On your end step, I'll fetch. I'll go down to 26. Forgot that God the Shrine already came up this game and is in my graveyard. So to my turn here, I guess we'll play this Ajango and we'll go to combat. Higher, we're still gonna hit you for four. We're gonna pass the turn after that. Upkeep, mana crypt trigger. Win, no damage. Draw a card. Snow covered islands. 
go to combat. I guess higher is really, he's got the tutor on board. Higher, I'll come at you with two. Okay, that's it, pass turn. End step, flash. He's casting the Hushwing Griff, which I'm not happy to see because now my commander shut off. Untap, draw a card. Gaia Reach Sanitarium is land for turn. Combat, higher for two. I'll pass. Untap. But taking one from the mana I'm gonna activate Wishclaw. Dibs? Dibs, dibs, dibs. Fuck. Joshua. Yes! We did it, Dad. I'll put that past the turn. End of your turn. Four mana to March of Otherworldly Light to the Griff. Yeah, that's not great. I don't like that. I'm gonna activate Gyre Sanitarium. And we'll draw a discard. Bitchin' a swamp. Discarding a Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Discarding Noxious Revival. Yeah, I'm gonna discard Chroma. If it goes around the places. My turn. Play an Urza Saga. Let's go to combat. Josh, I'm gonna hit you for four. Yeah, that's right. Hard cast, Jurassic Cat. I will pass the turn. Pass the turn. Oh my god. <laughs> what Love the it. fuck? Deafening silence means that I can't actually try to present a win here, so I might as well leave up. The Razaketh ability, just in case someone tries to interact with me. Also, I had to hard cast this motherfucker. I can't do anything else. All right, here we go. Go to my turn. Yes, here we go. Love it. Draw card. Higher, come at you for two. Play Windswept Heath as land for turn. Pass turn. There's nothing worth Cabal pitting. Untap. Draw a magic card. I have a wish claw talisman. Did higher get an op agent? He just forced me to use my cabal pit. Give it back to me and I won't use I won't use op agent. Dylan, how much uh, interaction do you have? I have five cards in my hand. And they're all good. I, whoever you give it to is probably gonna be able to win with it, I would imagine at this point. The other well, option is you don't have to use it to. That's, I know, that's my other thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You play opposition agent? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna activate wish claw talisman. <laughs> Activate Razaketh in response. I'm gonna put Abdel in my graveyard, and with the Meat Hook Massacre, everyone else will lose one too. I got my card. I'm gonna grab this magic card. That's gonna go to my hand, and Cameron's gonna get a Wish Claw with one counter tapped. Hooray! Play a land for turn. Pass the turn. That's it. Let's go ahead and try Cyclonic Rift, this deafening silence. Yeah, to my hand. Untap, lose life, draw a card. Let's see what it feels like to get blown out. I'm gonna cast this reanimate. I'm gonna target Gale. I'm gonna try to get you with the mental misstep. I'll pay two life. Yeah, that will get totally countered. I know Josh has the soul guide lantern. I need Josh to use that soul guide lantern on what Cameron's about to do because he's also a graveyard deck and I don't think my mental misstep is gonna be good against Cameron. Damn, that Gale was seven mana plus reanimate and now it's still stuck in the graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> a Fell War Stone. I'm gonna cast Scion of Palastar. There's a life, and then I'm gonna pass the turn. All right, so on my turn, I'm gonna bump up Urza's Saga. to draw two mana to make a Karnstruct, and then we'll tap to activate Wishclaw Talisman. Oops. Oops, what? Are you passing? I'm passing on the activation of Wishclaw. Josh, are you? No. That's, oops, that. I will cast Opposition Agent. Response to that, I'm gonna sacrifice this creature to Razaketh. Tutor, I will lose two going down to 21, and then Meat Hook Massacre will trigger and everyone else will lose one. Search away. We're gonna get this. Oppo resolves, there's still the Witch Claw Talisman trigger on the stack. And then I would like to Swords the Black Shares, the Opposition Agent. And then I will get another Tutor, and it's gonna be this. Who's getting the Witch Claw Talisman with no uh, counters on it? Higher can get the Witch Claw Talisman back with zero counters on it. And I am going to put a Dance of the Dead onto the stack. Well, I'm going to pass on this one just because I know Josh has a response. Yeah, I'll respond. I'll sacrifice Soul Guide Lantern and exile all opponents' graveyards. All opponents' graveyards are exiled. I'm going to put Abdel back in the command zone. Nothing happens with that, so this just dies. I will pass the turn. Looking forward to my next one if I get there. <laughs> and well, my deck lacks an interaction. It makes up for it in resiliency. So the only way I'm going to be able to get through this is if I just keep plowing through the interaction. End step, sack, go to 19. Find a basic forest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mana Crypt trigger. Odds, lose damage. Go to 16. You say odds on a coin flip? Yeah. Okay, no, it's, yeah, it's whatever. Jog uh guard. Cast Foresight. I will find Extract, Mist Hollowed Griffin, and Eternal Scourge and put them into exile. I'll just go to combat. Higher, I'm going to come at you with two. And then that's it. I'm just going to pass turn. Nice dude, nice. I was actually really scared because I tapped incorrectly and my Cabal Pit was offline. Draw for turn. A deafening silence. Oh, brother, it's back. Snow Covered Plains into the Fetid Heath for double black. Bob, Dark Confidant, Hellbent Pass. I'm going to lose a life. The Man of Vault. <laughs> I don't do this Scion of Halastar because I don't have a commander out, so I'm just going to draw a card for turn. I'm going to play a land. I'm going to cast Gale. 
I'll pass turn. That soul guide lantern exiles everyone's graveyard, so when Hire's commander left the graveyard, he put it back into his command zone. Here we go. On my upkeep, I'm going to make another construct with the saga. Draw for turn, and then on my main phase, the saga will go away. Mana vaults. Cameron hires at 10, and you have an 8-8. Eight eight. Ah. Flample. You notice how I haven't done anything? And and the person who's won games was still alive. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Like I that is a good either. tactic. I'm at 10 life also. Adnaz is no longer a thing. Play Ancient Tomb as land for turn. So this puts me down to 19. Yeah, go to 19. Until Adrian comes into play. Be casting Adrian from command zone. I pass on that. Yep. Great. We'll exile this mana vault here. We'll exile this Felwar stone here. So we have two one ones. Let's sack one of the one ones, draining everyone for one, and I'll lose two going down to 17. We'll get that. Let's sacrifice Abdel Adrian, get these two rocks back, lose two life, and everyone else loses one. Go down to 15. We'll get that. Mana vault for three colorless, and we'll cast a Ranger Captain of Eos. I'm going to cast Chain of Vapor, targeting my will. That's going to return to my hands. I will have a draw trigger from Candle Keep Sage, draw a card from Wilson Leaving, and then I will sacrifice this island to copy Chain of Vapor, and the copy of Chain of Vapor is going to go up Meat Hook Massacre. Well, that's mine. Yes, that is yours. All right, so Meat Hook Massacre will get bounced. I wanted to bounce the Razakath here, but if Cameron wanted to, he could just sack creatures in response and get all the tutors that he wanted out of the Razakath and then just let it go. And the Meat Hook Massacre is a combo piece that he's trying to use, and me bouncing it to his hand actually bounces it to Josh's hand, so Cameron no longer has access to it. Do you want to copy it? Yeah, I'll copy it. I'm going to sacrifice this Plains to copy it and bounce Felwar Stone to my hand. I'll it again, sacrificing this ancient tomb to return mana vaults to my hand. Captain Vios comes into play. So we're going to go get an Esper Sentinel. I'm going to pop the Ranger Captain of Vios. No non-creatures this turn. I still have two colorless floating, and I'll use one of the colorless and this going down to 14 to make a white, and we'll cast Cathar's Commando, and we'll use that last remaining colorless floating to pop Cathar's Commando to kill the Deafening Silence. Yeah, I was going to say there are responses, but probably not. Probably oh, not. So now... I can tap High Market for Mana Vault. Tap Mana Vault to get three colorless. Use two other colorless for Felwar Stone. So now I have a little bit more wiggle room where I can sacrifice the Karnstruct. Lose two life going down to 12. I don't know if I should have activated Gyrate Sanitarium in response to the Ranger Captain. That probably would have been a good idea. Maybe. Okay, I have exactly seven cards in my graveyard. Threshold, baby. A ball ritual. Oh shit. Demonic consultation naming Corpse Knight. One, two, yeah, three, left? four, five, six. No Corpse Knight. He does have one spirit left, I think. Yeah. Uh, I should have done this the other way. <laughs> oh no, Cameron, what? Back. Nas. Aether Flux Reservoir. Ah, oh, damn. Meat Hook. Should have named Meat Hook. I shouldn't, uh, no. <laughs> just, it's all unraveling. <laughs> just completely having a mental breakdown. Uh, <laughs> oh, and it's so far away. Out of options now. Dude, a sick deck tech, bro. Mox Opal, cast the Corpse Knight, oh. and then use this two black on Animate Dead. Hey, oh, I got a response. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Endurance? Endurance? No. <laughs> so fucking close. <laughs> in response to the animate dead, I'll endurance your yard. Hard mode cast, 3-4 in play permanently. Okay, so that's all on the bottom. That sucks. All right, well, I guess I guess I wasn't meant to win this game, and I just have to uh, pass the turn. I've been sitting on that for so long, doing nothing with a grip full of interaction, waiting for the perfect moment. Boy, was that it. Fuck you, Ranger Captain. You're supposed to keep me protected. You really did do like everything that you could possibly do to try to grind a win out of this. You used like every possible resource you got so far. In the end, it didn't even matter. I think this is still an incredibly impressive showing of this deck, but... An even more impressive showing of endurance. <laughs> Go to me. Yikes, Untap. bro. Mana Crypt. That was a turn. Tails, lose three. Draw card. Oh, that was pretty good draw. Food chain. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Ripping it off the top. Yeah. 
I just you ripped just it off the top. Off the top? <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Jeez. Cash food chain. I can't even kill the endurance with a cabal pit. Cabal pit doesn't matter because you still get infinite mana here, so it doesn't matter. So probably do the Gaia Reach Sanitarium and hope that Hyre draws something. Just let it resolve. Uh, Wait, why? Yeah. You do something I don't, or are you just ready to be it for it to be over? I just I feel like I feel like Razaketh might be able to search for something. I don't think that you It's an Orzhov deck. I'm not sure. I He's tapped yeah, out. <laughs> I'm, I'm tapped out. I don't have anything else. You're not on uh, Slaughter Pact? No, no, I'm not on Slaughter Pact. Yeah. Like most of my decks over here. <laughs> That's also true. Josh, you're up first. Food chain. Pay life and what activate Gyre. No. What? What? Because he went through Thassa. He went through Thassa, right? Yeah, but his commander, he chooses how much to draw. He'll just leave three cards there. That's fair. <laughs> okay, yeah, do it. Do the it's draw not like thing. It's, a, it's not like it's a yeah. demonic consultation. I'll go to 29, and everyone will draw a card, discard a card. I'll discard a mana crypt. I guess I don't need this Drift of Phantasms anymore. As yeah. percent and all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Drift of Phantasms? You still just went up the Drift. No, no, no. I, I drew this just now. I don't need it oh, okay. anymore. Food I'm chain? good on it. Good Higher. Awesome. Cam? Yeah, all good. Exile for three blue, this Endurance. I meant four blue. Cast Eternal Scourge. Exile to Food Chain to make infinite creature mana. I'll also cast this Missile, so have that out too. Cast Wilson from my hand. Draw a card. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm, right. I'm good to, to lose. Yeah. I will draw my entirety of my deck and cast Thassa's Oracle with some of that creature mana. Nice. Yeah. We did it. You did it. Wow, wow. a three-peat. Yeah. Food Chain wins fucking games, baby! So I got really lucky that game. I really didn't do much of anything up until right at the last moment and did really all that Food Chain decks ever do, which is win games, because Food Chain wins games. Absolutely, Adrian actually making 1-1s one -ones with its ability is super good with Razaketh, so this deck is actually a ton of fun to pilot when you actually get it to go off. Fire was trying to get Josh to leave his Gaia Reach Sanitarium untapped in case I did draw my entire library like I did do and make me draw an extra card, which would kill me had he left that untapped i would have been able to stop at like a card or two prior and had a deck full of interaction in my hand as well as a plethora of blue permanents enough to still win the game so i would have played a little differently thank you so much for watching if you'd like to support us directly you can do so at patreon like our 50 dollars patron sham roberto ruiz steven schlichty shrek i'm looking down russ helms Jacona Stoneburner, That Green Guy, Plantain Jackson, Isaiah Berliski, Michael Lyon, Kyle Levenberg, George Allen, Jukai, Byron Wang, C, Kawaja A. Hamid, Jacob Depp, Unforeseen God, CZ, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Adrian Grimm, Sleepy Jarvis, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Nocturnal Beaver, Jormags, Ugly, Moxfield, and Baby Jeebus. Check out our bonfire store. Our new designs are still up there, so get them while they're hot. If you want to pick up any of the cards you saw today, you can do so at our TC player affiliate link which helps support the channel check out our altar sleeves affiliate link which gets you five percent off your order if you want to pick up any dragon shield product you can do that at our affiliate link which will also help support the channel and yo you gotta check out play to an mtg.com there's still a ton of sleeves up on the website including all of our playmat designs too thanks for watching see you next week we'll be at eminence games next weekend pun city will be there so see you there see you next week on sunday around 10 a.m eastern time Damn, I can't believe you had that endurance. Wow. Yeah, dude, the endurance was good, right? I was waiting on that for a while. I'm like, I know Josh has the graveyard thing, so I have to make sure that I use this at the exact appropriate time. Also, um, I'd like to formally apologize. Uh, I didn't realize that literally I haven't been muted when I've been muting my microphone because Oh, like when you're blowing your nose. Yes, I thought it was yeah. like, I <laughs> muted my fucking Yeti, which is right in front of me, but Zoom, why didn't you guys fucking tell me? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was going to say something. I don't know why. I didn't want to like accidentally embarrass you or something. So I was just no. like, I'm just going to take that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking God damn it. <laughs> you're like blowing your nose, like right into the microphone. No, that's, I, that's why I didn't move out of the, oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, that's it's, funny. I felt very comfortable there after the ranger captain went off. I had silence in my hand, but I couldn't like ranger <laughs> captain. I, I couldn't like silence and get rid of the... Deafening silence? silence. I guess yeah, I could. That's fair. I, actually, yes, I could have done that. Did you have access to an extra mana? Um, no, it would have actually given me more mana because I would have done that instead do you, of... Do you, do you have Grand Abolisher? Yes, I do. Yeah, so you just cast Grand Abolisher instead. You get Grand Abolisher instead of your... Uh your ranger 
Um, I had I had silence in my hand. What I should have done was cast silence and then still use the um, the other thing. I did have a dispel and a pognify, so I did have an yeah. answer to a silence. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, th th maybe there was a different way of doing it. Who, who knows? It sounds like no matter what I would have done, I wouldn't have won the game. Based on the <laughs> yeah, I think so. Had. Yeah, um, I was sitting on all interaction for most of that game. I wasn't drawing yeah. any like tutors or anything else. I had like a pognify, dispel, chain of vapor. All of that was in my hand for a while. Um, but just yeah. I was just waiting for somebody else to let me use yeah. it on. Them. I had I had demonic consultation Thassa for like three turns in a row, and I was yeah. like, I'm just, <laughs> just not wait. casting this. I gotta yeah, wait till at can. least dispel goes away. Yeah, and I saw yeah. mental misstep, and I was like, Mother of God. <laughs> <laughs>